Welcome back to Keep It Real Boxing. Welcome back to another edition of Fight Night Rewind. And the fight I'm going to be talking about was the top rank main event tonight. It was Miguel Belchant versus Miguel Roman. WBC featherweight title on the line here. Belchant was a champion and of course Roman was the challenger. Now, first of all, I want to start off by saying really good fight, very entertaining, two Mexican fighters, as you expect, um, but a very one-sided fight as well at the same time. If you look at my scorecard at the bottom, you'll see I scored literally every round to Miguel Belchon. Now, this was the case throughout the fight, but at the beginning of the fight, Belchamp started off really well. Uh, the first three, two to three rounds, he used his height, he used his reach really well, uh, boxed from range, uh, measured distance very well, you know, landing good combinations, especially working the body really early. Uh, you know, Roman had little moments of success where he would land one punch or he would land two punches, very few and far between, but that generally came when I felt at the early part of the fight when Beltrip would dip low to avoid punches or dip low to go in for the body shots. That's when Roman, you know, kind of capitalizes. But he wasted a lot of punches, Roman. Roman wasted a lot of punches, missed a lot of punches. Beltrip was making him miss and coming back with counters. You know, it, you know, Beltrip put on a really good performance tonight, in my opinion. I felt Roman was well out of his league, well out of his league tonight in that ring. Uh, I didn't give him a round at all. Don't get me wrong, there were some rounds where, you know, Roman did come out the first minute or the first minute and a half and, you know, he was very aggressive. He would land a few punches, but then Beltran would come back in the second half of the round and really put his combinations together, really land some good, clean scoring punches, very accurate, especially with the head. It was a little bit too easy at times, I felt, for Belchin. Uh, You know, so Roman did, get, don't get me wrong, I give Roman all the credit in the world for showing such great heart, such great willingness, because most fighters would have dropped to their feet and not got back up. You know, in the sixth round, you know, he went down twice and the guy still stood up and kept going. In the second, in the next round after that, he barely threw a punch. He just, you know, he literally ran. He was on his bike in that round, the round afterwards, which was the seventh round, and just looked to survive. And then he tried to come back in the couple of, in the rounds, you know, after that. The eighth round he started off well but then Belchant just came over his class showed through and the same happened obviously in the ninth round and he got knocked down in the ninth round again and then right in the last it was like two seconds left on the clock when the referee stopped the fight finally um but Belcham just un unleashed an assault on his you know with headshots combination one two he wasn't defending himself and the referee just stepped in and just thought that's it you've had enough you know i've seen enough it's over you know and i was kind of glad he did because even i was saying come on you got to stop the fight now i felt the fight went on probably about two or three rounds more than it should have personally yeah i know he's you know roman showed moments of grit and tried to come back into the fight but then when belchamp would just take control of the round again he would put on a beating on roman um and i felt uh, you know, I question the corner, you know, a bit of compassion for your fighter, you know, all right, he doesn't win this fight, but you know what, let him live to kind of fight another day, and even the referee, I thought the referee should have stepped in a long time ago as well, but you know, he, he waited right to the end of the, uh, the end of the ninth round, with like two seconds on the clock before he said, all right, that's it, I've had enough, don't get me wrong, I understand they're two Mexican fighters, I understand the pride that comes out of these fighters from Mexico, but at the same time, you know, you got to think about the health uh, and the care of the fighter. And I felt it just went on to, you know, for too long, for two, three rounds too long, in my opinion. But look, good fight, entertaining fight. I felt it was a completely one-sided fight. Um, you know, you know, hats off to a man. Showed great heart, great willingness, but just, in my opinion, was out of his league. Let me know what you thought of the fight if you did tune in tonight. Uh, as always, guys, like, share and subscribe. Until next time, this is Cyphbox reminding you to keep it real.